There's annihilation across the nation. It's not occupation to stop that operation. The devastation of the human race. Corporate dealers are gonna feel the pace. When they meet their makers face to face, the rainbow warrior is gonna pack the case and the world can become a better place. Fire in space, a new dimension, a digital interface. A pure utopia for every man's race. There'll be no judge because there'll be no case. Peace out. This is for 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 the people. This is for 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 the people. Cause the world's like this, that's how it's meant to be. Knowing that truth sets you free, you see. Harachi are a hip hop and drum and bass act from Brixham, a small fishing town in Devon and tonight they are performing a gig in Edinburgh. I have travelled up from the UK to spend the day with them and get an insight into their world known as the Arachi. Harachi founder, Michael, currently resides in Edinburgh along with another Harachi member who is known as Rad. His brother Daniel is coming up from London for the gig but when I arrive to meet him it seems he has other things to worry about besides tonight's gig. He can't have got up and gone out. <sighs> I'm not sure if there. You go. Well, I wanted to be able to dip into the door, do you know what I mean? I'm going to ring him. Fuck's sake, man. Hello, Chris? Oh, shit, you're out, aren't you? Oh, fuck, I can't get in. Yeah. Now I'm with Percy and my brother and Carmen are about to turn up, I think. No, 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 Percy ain't driving. Where are you? Oh, fuck, man. What, and there's no way to get back into the house? Okay. I'm going to have to climb through the window, aren't I? So what are you going to do now then? What we're going to do now, I'm going to have to climb into the gaff. I need a piss though, man, you know what I mean? I need a fucking piss. Ah! Michael's brother Daniel go. arrives from London, but luckily soon after, fellow bandmate and housemate Rad arrives with a key. Hello boy. Hello boy. It had been a tough and emotional Hello. year for Rad, as only just recently he had finished a prison sentence. What were you in there for anyway? Robbery. Well, I was I was charged with robbery. I ended up pleading guilty to ABH and I got two years. And uh, I basically it was a joint enterprise. My co-defendant got seven years. Oh really? Yeah, he got seven years. Is that down in Devon? Immediate prison. Devon down in bloody Devon, mate, yeah. <laughs> down in bloody Devon. <laughs> and in prison you have to go to like a, do a job every day, like screwing table chair legs into fucking tabletops or making jeans or whatever. And he didn't want to go, clearly. He's got to get up at half eight in the morning. So they kept trying to get him to go, they kept sending him to the blocks and they kept forcing the guy to go to work. So eventually it got to the point where the people who supervise all the prisons, they're not guards or anything, they're just normal people who are working there. They kept sending this guy, he's like, if you take me there again, I'm going to fucking kill the fucking cunt. Yeah. Yes, so, didn't have it forced him there anyway, the guy ended up fucking smacking yeah. one of the people who work in the factory with a bit of nail in a, in a, in a, in a, in a massive bit of fucking wood. Ambulance were called, guy got sent to Belmarsh, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, well he's a lifer, he's blatantly in for the rest of his life, you're goading him, sort the guy out, don't fucking piss him off. And that really, to me, was, was kind of what prison was about, it was about goading people, testing them, it wasn't about educating them or trying to reforming them or trying to help them. What is it here for? What's it here for? Well, part of the reason is to save the world, whether that be my world or other people's world, you know what I mean? But my world's the same as other people's world, so it's the same thing at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Harachi produced garage, drum and bass and hip-hop music, which consists of all original content. Basically, this means instead of using samples, they create their own beats. Harachi is all about US to UK, mate. Vince Lawrence, fucking slang music group, Marachi, fucking step it up, taking big steps all the way over the Atlantic because i got long legs. Slang Music Group is a record company from Chicago who Marachi have just started working alongside. Michael set up a new website www.harachi.co.uk along with various MySpace pages to help promote Harachi as an entity. 
um, which has basically attracted a lot of attention. We've had like lots of visits to the website. Um, so the interest has been growing, basically trying to turn it into a more of a professional outfit, uh, rather than just sort of going around to our local clubs and bars and DJing and doing things like that. Turn it into something more professional, professional so we can like start generating some more capital from it. With alcohol free flowing for the last few hours, it's time for the band, in a buoyant mood, to make their way to the gig. Let me, let me, let me lead the way in. It's already bought, it's already sold. I want a smooth transaction when money's involved. A pay me in silver or pay me in gold. I want a smooth transaction when money's involved. That's all I, I want. I couldn't give a fuck when money's involved, because when I'm involved in projects, problems evolve, then problems are solved and resolved by safe behavior. Now my fucking mates are my saviours But it's all sweet cause we choose to cooperate and not operate Hate and unfair competition It's six years since I stepped on this mission to make After half an hour walk we finally arrive at the Bongo Club Where Harachi will be playing But Daniel is already having a problem with the local hospitality Some motherfucker walk through the door Get introduced to him, Adam or whatever his name is Some hippie, seems nice, do you know what I mean? I'm like cool Walk through the doors, check out the area, sort of acclimatise myself or whatever. Walk back through, see this dude again called Adam. He's like, do you want some fudge? As in fudge? As, as in, in, I'm thinking, it's just regular fudge. Like Devon fudge? Like a normal person would. And I was like, yeah, I'm from Devon, I'll have some fudge. Ignorant motherfucker. There's some fudge. What do you want, chocolate or chocolate and vanilla? Just plain chocolate. Take some fudge, put it in my mouth. He's like, yeah, that shit will keep you up all night. <laughs> Sorry, what? That'll keep me up all night. So I took it out of my mouth and managed to get rid of most of it, but hopefully I don't get up on the microphone and go. As the venue starts to fill up, Rad gets things started on the microphone. Besides being in prison, Rad has had to deal with other hardships in the last couple of years, including the tragic death of his father. My dad killed himself about a month after I got out of prison. Um, so that kind of hurt me, but my mum, I, I talked to her, but we haven't really discussed uh, me going to prison. I think a lot of it was because she weren't there, and uh, I think for her it's quite painful because she was in, she moved away because I was in there, I think for her it's painful. I don't really bring it up. For me, it's cool. I didn't really want to see my family or all my friends in there because you're locked up. You don't really want to see anyone anyway because then it hurts you when they go. Okay. The bongo club is now full and it's Dan's turn to take centre stage on the mic. For the past six years, him and his brother have been recording from their bedroom in Brixham. Up until Michael moved to Edinburgh and Dan moved to London, they had recorded over 200 songs together. Harachi's performance is very upbeat and they love to interact with the audience. And this shows as Dan jumps down from the stage to MC in the crowd. As the performance draws to a close, Michael, who has been DJing for the evening, has his turn on the mic. <laughs> As my time with the Rachi comes to an end, I know I have seen a group of individuals that the viewing public will see a lot more of in the not too distant future. Harachi's performance has impressed me greatly, and I feel I have seen three individuals who even though they have had to come through many hardships, are still full of life and energy, and through music are displaying great character and artistic talent. <laughs> Oh, that's poor. Right, listen, 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 listen. They're not going to let me have one more tune, so... I oh, know, it's terrible. Listen to the drummers. It's alright. I'll see you later. Peace. Did you cry for pain? Did you die in the sun or the rain? If you're dying, it's all the same. With nothing but shame, there's nothing to gain. And if you're dying, it's all the same. Did you cry for pain? Did you die in the sun or the rain? If you're dying, it's all the same. With nothing but shame, there's nothing to gain.
if you die in the summer, the same. Did you die in the sun or the rain? I decided there's nothing to gain. I realized there's only myself to blame for the pain I've inflicted. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all get that. <laughs> y'all 